As humans, we are wired to run away from those things that cause us pain. But running away or trying to is not going to heal that pain at all. The best way to heal is with self-love and knowing your self-worth. And if someone else has hurt you, self-love is the survival mode that you need. And if you want to better yourself and your life, learning to forgive and letting go will help you heal. If you or someone you know wants to let go of those niggling questions of why someone has caused you pain, then please stay with me. Hello, my name is Belinda and I'm the founder of Serene Lifestyles, an online psychotherapy practice. Please click the link below to connect. For the majority of us, forgiveness doesn't arrive quickly. Of course, it takes time. It's not easy at times, especially if someone has hurt you really badly. And that's okay. It's If we forgive too quickly, we may still hold on to some vent up anger within us but you see the anger can affect you more than anyone else in the end and it's not worth it it really isn't it can get you trapped in that victim mentality it can cause further stress and even depression so here are some tips on how to forgive and free yourself by letting go of um, questions especially of those questions that hold you back tip number one now acceptance I know this takes time so just like we don't want others to control us we can't make people do what they don't want to especially if they don't even see what they have done wrong or if they've done anything wrong um, and they don't even realize and they don't even apologize the important thing to remember is that you can only control your own thoughts the way that you're thinking and feeling about the situation that you're in and only if you feel they are being genuine say if they come back with an apology and if you think they are being genuine and of course their apology is heartfelt and sincere you can accept it if they are not genuine or they are not even sorry or haven't acknowledged the pain they have caused you then you have to sit with your own thoughts either way you have to sit with your own thoughts and ask yourself the pain they cause is now affecting my thoughts okay and the way they treated me made me feel made me feel bad now i cannot allow my own thoughts to hold on to that pain you have a choice you see you've got to learn to accept that it happened it is an event of the past letting go is not easy of course it takes time but allow yourself the time and the time you need is your choice and that is what i'm trying to point out here letting go is your choice and accepting you have that choice is what is important at this stage and tip number two know if you can forgive now it, of course it depends on the events and how you've been hurt what has been said or done but know if you can forgive is really important no one can force you to forgive anyone especially when someone has hurt you to the extent of changing your life completely it's something that you have to reckon within your own thoughts going back to acceptance you allowed yourself to understand you have a choice now the question is how much longer do you want to hold on to the that particular pain that pain of the past sometimes it's scary to release an emotion we've gotten really comfortable with and we're so used to to process your anger and fear i know that there are so many techniques out there that can help you to process it and the best one i know is the one i always talk about is the breathing meditation 
And tip number three, it's not intentional. Sometimes and not always, some people don't intentionally hurt others. I have known this to be incredibly common in relationships. They don't mean to hurt each other in some relationships and those who do cause pain often are in deep set pain themselves and continuing to come back to this truth helps us see each other's, each person's humanity. See, um, it's not always about being the bigger person, but you will understand about peace of mind and letting go and that negative talk, letting go of that negative talk towards them, towards yourself and challenging yourself for answers and asking yourself whether it was something you did, what did you provoke that person to treat you that way? And your mind constantly seeking those answers that you're never going to get. It's not anything you did. You are enough. Instead, the best way forward you for you is to understand that um, you have to accept that. If you want the pain to go, the gift, the best gift you can give yourself is forgiveness and letting go. <laughs> These are just a few tips to help you. Now, if you require any further assistance or seek further advice, then please click the link below to connect. I hope this video has been helpful and remember change your mindset and it will change your life. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care of your thinking patterns.